Hello there everyone and welcome back to Napoleon Total War 3. Last time around we lost Corsica to the Ottomans but we sunk their navy and they're now, or well, their army is now stranded here with uh, Jean-André Massena ready to advance upon them and smite them and uh, as it is I've got two armies over here ready to strike the Austrians this way while Napoleon is moving this way which opens up Andre's army to be deployed down towards the Ottomans and we have a possibility in the future of a invasion either if I'm really bold and I go directly for the Ottomans capital or if I'm not so bold and I go for Athens. Um, I'm in, in right now. I'm not sure if I'm going to release any nations, but I think the Greek nation state would be one of the ones that I would release. Um, they hold quite a strategic position here because we have two trade posts of coffee, but. Um, Coffee isn't that good of a trade resource. Not at the same as ivory and some of the others. Anyways, we also have the English invasions going on. We have this siege at Hanover. And we got these two over here. And first up right now is the army under Seoul. And... Oh, wait. They're both Seoul? Oh, crap. Yes, they're both the twins. The twin generals will go ahead and attack this one and then hopefully we'll be able to strike at the Rennes before their larger British force is able to seize this area. But now, without further ado, let's go ahead and strike Ernest. Augustus and uh, destroy his force. We draw into battle but we're not able to actually get the reinforcement army from across the other side. The British pack quite a punch and they have very veteran troops given that it's quite kind of strange since um the British, as far as I know, hasn't really been at war with anyone. Uh, but they've got veteran troops. Most importantly among these men is the first foot guard gr uh, grenadiers. Which is a very good unit. Um, and we don't really have any... Yes, we do have something to match it. We have got the first, um, first regiment of uh, the chasseurs. Um, guards. So the third foot guards is uh, plus we get reinforcement there from the town. Um, let's go ahead and out to save just in case. And let's go ahead and play this battle. I was hoping that I would be able to bring in the other general as well. Now the Brits in the vanilla version have an increased rate of fire then and they also have got better accuracy well not actually rate rate of fire it is accuracy they've got better um i don't know what their fire rate is but they have better accuracy uh, usually by 5 points or something but it looked as though their um, that wasn't as clear of an advantage for them in this and I had gone ahead and taken screenshots. Always. 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 There we go. And back to the battle. So we've got the part of the British force that we can see right here. We've got a large forest. Which is not very good because I've got...
These do not hold a lot of batteries, do they? Or a lot of cannons. I think we need probably need to spread them out a bit more to make sure that a missed cannon shot for one of the other batteries does not take out the other one. So here's our front line. We got these guard chasseurs in front of the guard. And then we have two units of grenadier behind uh, the main line backing them up. And we have no cavalry while the enemy has quite a lot of cavalry. And here we go ahead and start. The enemy now disappeared. Did they move? All our cannon shots are now going into the general because he's the only one visible to our force. We are getting reinforcements from where? I should have... I don't <laughs> have the map, so... Oh, here we go. Now we can see where he's coming from. Oh! We turn up from behind. Right. Anyways, I think it's time to order the general advance of the troops. And then the chasseur and the guard force as well. And we can take a closer look. I don't think we've had that many of these uh, uh, normal line grenadiers. And then these guys are the normal line infantry. We've seen a lot of them. And here we've got the chasseur of the old guard. And in front we've got the um, the young guard chasseurs in spread out formation moving through the forest. The Brits have been spotted and we're hoping to uh, open fire upon them. I want to see the Scots. I'm interested to see the 79th Highlanders, which should be here somewhere. Among the British force. Maybe I should go ahead and slow-mo and see if we can find them. We've got the 12th Hussars over there. And over here we got the 20th Light Horse. Um, there they are! There they are, the Highlanders! The 79th Cameron Highlanders! Expeditionary Force, or what does that sound for? Exped Force. I would imagine it's. Um, right. Time to give them an actual order to. The light infantry will hold there while the guard will march up behind them. Then the normal line infantry will line up. Oh, what? Oh, I got these guys. That was not my intention. These guys are supposed to line up like this. But it looks, since the enemy is coming quite hard here with the cavalry, as though. We're going to have to form squares in protection. So the front line is forced to form into square. Oh yeah, we need to sw switch back to uh, normal mode. Um, these armed citizenry and the Garde Nationale, not very useful I don't think. Revolutionary infantry, well, they're probably all just equally terrible. Ah, these were quite small, so... These are the units probably that I will be able to use. It'll be hard for them to go up against... Um, regular British line infantry, though. The squares saw the enemy cavalry off. How's it going over here? The line infantry or the the light infantry is holding up. 
I think this side of the squares can form into line and get up to where they're supposed to. We're putting a lot of cannon rounds into here and since they did not unlimber the cannons, everyone dies as the cannon shots go in. We've got a Hussar regiment that made their way forward there, but they have been sent off. These cavalry will also, I imagine, be sent off. We're going to move this grenadier unit from being reserve to uh, cover the flank. And this unit's going to have to move into square. And then these two will move into line and try to go up and cover here as we've got the King's German Legion uh, moving up. The uh, light regiment, the right, the light horse regiment was sent off. King's German Legion, King's German Legion, backed up by the Scots are moving in. Um, I don't think we're doing that well here. I want the uh, guards to move out while the light infantry stay in their position, although they need to turn a bit to face the first foot guard. And as the guards turn up there, we should get a better angle on our enemies. And this unit is no longer needed to be in square. And the grenadiers can go ahead and move up and back up the... Oh! Hold position. Hold the line. I do believe that you will be able to hold off against this small cavalry unit without a problem. And we're facing off with some fencibles down in the forest there. This unit is coming under heavy fire from the 20th Regiment of Foot. And we're gonna have to redraw them. The uh, 31st Regiment of Foot, however, is coming under very heavy fire uh, from the flank over here, but also for these two regiments. This one will have to turn to face the 20th as they are oncoming and the 27th will move to cover them now. Same time, it looks as though there might be a break in the center. So the general has a good position here behind the rock to move up and support these men as they are fighting with the 9th regiment. Uh, which are the King's German Legion. And there's another one coming up right behind them. It's the first foot guards. They've moved from their position over here, which opens it up for these to advance. It sounds like the first foot guards are charging together with the Highlanders. We've got... Where did I put my... Didn't I put a a grenadier regiment somewhere in here. No, uh, they were pushed to the front. The Brits seem to be sent off, or at least the King's German Legion are sent off. The forest is still full of Scotsmen, which are charging uh, into this line regiment. But we're going to send in the guards to flank. And at the same time, this unit of light will hold right here and shoot upon the enemy that is retreating. Same time, the ge enemy general has decided to make an appearance in the middle of the battlefield. And then the 52nd um, line infantry will move up together with the 7th grenadier regiment. Uh, to hopefully force the fencibles out of the forest. Because we're losing too many men for such a crappy unit. 
Uh, the first foot guards made the charge, but since the general turned up and they made a silly AI charge, they were unable to break our lines and are now forced away. Same for the Scotsmen. They did a heroic charge and this line suffered a lot. Uh, but I think from the flank of the uh, third foot guards, they, uh, there was enough, or not enough, but uh, there was uh, too much for them. We stand victorious over here and we're going to push against the last remnants over here. These guys are about to break. Uh, we can send one of these to harass the enemy in the back. While the other two is probably going to have to be moved over here to cover these. As these two, I imagine, are about to break apart pretty darn soon. At the same time, the third foot guards needs to be moved over here to deal with the ninth as they are back in action this cannon needs to be dealt with and so I will focus in the artillery on that position and as that happens the main line will do general advance in the direction of the enemy A glorious victory, sir. the forest is cleared and these two lines will also take part in the general advance and this one will now turn towards the forest to aid here. This unit will actually advance into, well it's not, it's hardly a forest, but into and among the trees. Since we've pushed so many men up into this position, the enemy has turned to face them and so they've let off the attack on these two very vulnerable units. Um, and they are now receiving quite a bit of fire. The third foot guards is about to open fire on the uh, King's German Legion. And I imagine that they are about to rout pretty darn quickly as the third foot guard chasseurs are uh, pretty darn good uh, shots. And we can see bricks are falling and they're also having trouble just form Forma forming the line. Right. The sent off the third foot guards will advance with the young guard chasseur. The general can safely now move up. And we can now see that this one is about to give way. And this one will soon follow afterwards. The general staff the general surprisingly hasn't died yet even though he uh, came under heavy artillery fire in the beginning of the battle and as it looks here he has lost a lot of men or has he died because I'm I'm a hard time telling who's who here but I'm imagining is the guy with the um, the white sash is the general and he's the last one now on the field He's losing men. I invite you to surrender, General! Right. We don't need to shoot the bastard. Advance the troops. The battle is over. I believe. There can't be enemy, uh, any enemy units left, can there? Ah, there's one over here. Right, turn to face them. And push artillery onto them. And they're gone. That should be it, shouldn't it? Or is there another unit that's turned back up? Yes, there we go. End the battle. Heroic victory. That's good. Uh... Very good. He who fights with monsters, take yeah, heed not to you. turn into one. We lost quite a few men in this, but we had uh, quite a lot of these crappy units that uh, lost a lot. The British force was soundly defeated. You can go ahead and take care of the rest. Oh, 
you are unable to actually do that and then you will follow up your victory and you will slay them it's kind of interesting that we got two generals called the exactly the same but I guess this is the the um, the sort of the the normal one and this is the one actually modded in because he's got an interesting picture um right I do not think that I have any moves really I still want to wait a little bit for Napoleon this and Ney's army to become more full of strength before uh, they would advance on Hungary but we want to make sure of course that we don't lose this area but at the same time we have a higher amount of resupply in this area so we're not going to move the troops but otherwise maybe I would have moved the troops out to actually secure this I don't think the, Aust oh, the Austrians are actually within reach but I think that they will go ahead and siege the area before they're actually capturing it and it looks like they're not advancing but instead are gathering up a massive amount of troops close to Budapest Great Britain uh, battle deployment Lorik Cole sends an army of uh, 3,500 men a lot of these are Scots I'm wondering if this guy Lorik Cole is a Scotsman because we have the Highlanders 17th regiment of foot we have light Highlanders and we got even more Highlanders there well out of the total number I guess um, yeah Scots guards so I think we can kinda safely assume that this is a Scottish army you know what we did um, one battle we can do another one I think where this one will probably end quite quickly and in the same manner that the 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 battle against the uh, Ottomans did I don't think we're gonna be able to win this uh, given the numbers however this time around I think oh, looking at the houses here there's no real good house is there all of them are smaller ones what I'm thinking is we will um, go ahead and uh, build our defenses around one area and do lines and stuff around that rather than can it this one is the only one that can form form square so maybe not we might just go ahead and do uh, what we did last time and um, have the men's set up in the houses or at least in these front parts then I think these three units that are a little bit better um, are gonna move to this house immediately upon start and uh, we're gonna see how Lorik Cole goes ahead and wins this battle He's riding around out there. Did he? I'm not sure if he brought any artillery. Oh, we've got a unit spotted now. What unit might that be? Fencibles moving in. Moving in quickly towards uh, the first house. The first farmhouse. At the same time, this force has made it down here and we'll set up in this farmhouse and we'll have the general unit behind probably being formed into square pretty soon we've got cavalry now turning up um, horse guard dragoons two regiments on this side we've got more troops turning up I'm interested to see yeah the Scottish light infantry 
and just a light tenth light foot. Here's the Scots Guards moving up. And we've got more King's German Legion cavalry turning up over here. We need get to get back to uh, the things in hand. We'll move this unit inside. This one will follow. And this one should be readied, ready themselves to form square as the enemy approaches. And that square will be covered by the house pretty well. We can form the square in such a way that we uh, encapsulate these men of the 57th that uh, is standing outside. Form a square. So, uh, probably the best situation we've got right now. These guys has be been charged by the, let's see who it is, the Fensibles or the Militia. Don't seem like they're trying to make an entry to the house though. They're more, uh, more just uh, fighting out here. They seem to be doing rather well against the the armed citizenry, which looks like they're about to break. Same with this side. The cavalry is able to kill the men outside, and that's enough to break the unit. The accuracy f uh, from the shots fired from within side um, is not really killing a lot of men, is it? Focus fire on the enemy approaching. We've got the uh, King's German Legion light riflemen. And we got fencible unit. We got cavalry coming up, which is just a squad uh, squadron or squad squadron squadron. Squadron. I'm not entirely sure why I said that. It's a squadron! If the troops could move in such a way sir, as to sir, maybe cover the attack of the enemy. I want them to switch to this wall. They are. And at the same time, this, uh, the squadron of cavalry, the 6th squadron, is now charging in. These men don't even have shoes. But they are still willing to fight for France to send off the enemy. The Brits are fighting hard over here to capture this house. They still haven't captured this one. Let's see if we can get maybe more of the men to move inside the house. They haven't captured this house either. Um, the square is holding. But unfortunately I do not dare move them out of square. But once these men start to lay down fire upon the square that's gonna do us a lot of terrible stuff the squadron has lost half its men and is now broken in retreating from the area the square is now coming under fire from the seventh militia over there and I imagine these guys are about to lay down fire as well quite surprised though that the houses are still under our control the houses over here 
this one over here and this one is still under our control but this one is being contested since we got a Highlander regiment making its way inside we got a Highlander officer there standing in the doorway stabbing anyone that tries to come in interesting how the Highlanders are inside here fighting a bit but we got some of our men standing over there in the window firing outside and now these two stand to guard the door while the Highland officer clearly just standing right behind them with fighting men Our men are running. ah now we lost one unit has given up and it was the center house the center farmhouse it's called a farmhouse but clearly it's some kind of townhouse that one against the Scots is about to give way as well the house right here this farmhouse is holding strong so far oh and right so as you saw there the battle crashed and I went ahead and auto resolved it looks like uh, William Anston is making his attack on the fort at Hanover uh, and he actually brings a smaller force than uh, Bernadotte has at his disposal so quite interesting there um, but as uh, the time of this episode has run out that battle is gonna have to come in the next episode so anyways I hope you enjoy this and hopefully I see you guys for the next one. Bye.